Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and today I want to talk about the top three melee classes in Legion 7.1, and yeah. So I did a video like this in 7.03, and someone was asking if I had an updated list for 7.1, which I did not, and I felt like making an updated version for it. First thing I want to say though is that I did have comments on my last video saying that the classes I listed at the time were not that strong. But back then, they before they were nerfed, pretty much over and over, uh, they were actually pretty strong. Most people were saying comments about rogues, and yeah, back uh, back then rogues were pretty strong. They were stupid. I'm gonna admit that. But um, over time, like over weeks, they have just nerfed them every hotfix. So I got comments saying that. So I just want to flat out say I cannot control what Blizzard nerfs and buffs. So. If you're seeing this late into the future and think the classes suck, I apologize. There's just, like I said, nothing I could say about Blizzard nerfing, buffing them, etc. So, first class I want to cover is Monk. And I know they just got nerfed, so I know people are going to say that. I know the consistent damage is actually pretty bad, but um, and the burst is pretty good. The reason why I'm putting this in the top three is because they can practically do everything a certain melee cannot. They pretty much dodge most of the pruning and they have tons of CC, they have paralysis, they have the Fist of Fury stun, they have leg sweep, they just have pretty much tons of different things so in my opinion this is one of the strongest melee at the moment. If you're uh, into peeling for your teammates or they, they even have ports, they have the, probably the best mobility in the game so in my opinion. So that's the reason why I put this top if you're into a high mobility class and they do decent damage there's there's I admit it there's tons of classes that could do a lot worse damage than a Windwalker monk can do right now so if you're into a decent amount of damage as well as high mobility probably the best in the game tons of good defensives I would suggest playing a Windwalker monk so that is why this is on my list and yeah Let's go ahead and move on to the next class. Alright guys, up next is Rhett. While I am aware that Rhett mobility is really low, I mean we have a horse and if you have talent tree, you, you have two of it. You have two charges of it. The reason why I put this class in the top three is because of kind of similar to Monk, they haven't really done much to prune Rets as they have with other melee. Um, they have a lot of support, they could blessing and protection people, not to mention they actually removed the damage reduction so you can actually do full damage and divine shield now, as well as blessing and protection you can put it on yourself or other melee and they could still keep attacking with it. Um, they still got lay on hands. They have an insane shield of vengeance that hits pretty hard in PvP. They have a decent slow. I mean, just overall, they're like probably the best support class, and they actually have really, really high damage as well. So overall, guys, I recommend playing this as your uh, one of your mains as well. If you're into a class that has high support, probably the best support in the game. Uh, high damage. The only downside, like I said, is that you don't have really any mobility, and that's pretty much all I got to say about Rets, guys. So, gonna move on to the next class. All right, guys. Um, up next is Feral Droid. I had a really hard time picking a third because there is other melee that actually I feel like could be a third as well. But I went with Feral Droid uh, for different reasons. I. It was kind of tied between Demon Hunter and uh, Feral for me, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be Feral. And the reason why I picked Feral is because they have insane off healing. They can help off heal teammates. Um, they are squishy. They have high mobility as well. Not the best mobility, but it's still pretty good. They can get out of roots. Um, they have, like I said, they have pretty decent damage. I wouldn't put it high damage as to other melee, but um, I feel like they're avoiding a nerf bat as well like they're under the high radar like they don't need nerfs but um I feel like but they've pretty much under the radar right now like everybody else is complaining about reds, monks, frosty gaze, blah 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 for stuff like that so 
overall guys um this is pretty much my top three um let me know what you guys think of this top three and that's pretty much it guys i'll see you guys later